Taking lessons learned from the global COVID-19 pandemic, health sector leaders and government officials are deploying emerging technologies and focusing on human-centered design to revolutionize healthcare today. Don't miss your chance to be a part of the conversation with America's healthcare leaders. Join the Potomac Officers Club's 2023 Healthcare Summit on December 6. The U.S. Navy awarded a subsidiary of BWX Technologies a two-year $300 million contract to support the Naval Nuclear Propulsion Program. Baird will host the sixth edition of its Government and Defense Conference on November 15 at the Ritz-Carlton Tyson's Corner. The event gives voice to leadership from many high-profile private sector entities as well as top federal officials. RTX reported a year-over-year -year adjusted sales growth of 12% to $19 billion in the third quarter of 2023, and announced a move to sell its cybersecurity, intelligence and services business for approximately $1.3 billion. The State Department has approved a potential $500 million foreign military sale of an extended-range version of the Advanced Anti-Radiation Guided Missile System and related equipment to the government of Finland. Ron Pfizer, fellow emeritus for management strategy at LMI, said Congress should act now to reauthorize the Department of Homeland Security's Countering Weapons of Mass Destruction Office to protect the country from chemical, biological, radiological and nuclear threats. The U.S. Air Force plans to increase the ceiling value of a potential $6.4 billion multiple award contract used to acquire natural disaster recovery, contingency and humanitarian support services to $15 billion. CAE has agreed to sell its healthcare business unit to Chicago-based Madison Industries for $226.3 million as the Canadian Aerospace and Defense Company seeks to focus on its core training and simulation markets. Join GovConWire's events understanding FedRAMP compliance webinar on November 9, 2023. Visit govconwire.com slash events. Tessa Berlocker, most recently Deputy General Manager of the Space Superiority Business Group at LinkWest, has assumed the role of Vice President and Business Lead of the Space Systems Technology Developers TMC Design Subsidiary. The Defense Information Systems Agency has begun seeking proposals for a potential contract to provide hardware and software sustainment and mission support services to the Defense Commissary Agency.